So Mark, it's been a little while. Oh yeah. It's been uh, a while. The Hooniverse fans are eager for an update on the Wombat. Oh. You guys have made some progress. We made a lot of progress. We cut this floor out. It was a, oh, it was a bear getting this engine and, and trans in this thing. <laughs> well, let's take we a look. We literally cut out a lot of structural parts to get this thing. Look. <laughs> it's in there. It is in there. We got it tied down with a chain in the front and the back. It's actually sitting on a wood board right now so we can get our motor mounts and everything in there, figure out what we need to do to tie it together. And, and then, inside, we yanked out the, the seats, the carpet, <laughs> the console, everything on this vehicle to get this thing so going. So, I, I mean, I've seen the engine sitting in here before, but I haven't seen the transmission in there. That's kind of amazing. Well, we had to take the transmission and bolt it together underneath the car and cut out a bunch of, there's the pieces right here. <laughs> Just some of the parts that we've cut out of this thing. So, yeah. So we've, we've uh, put the car in a bit of a diet. Oh, we A metal diet. diet. <laughs> um, yeah, that is a transmission right there. We've cut out, what, six inches over there. We got it raised up as high as we can. We got the chain holding it up. Now what we'll do is we'll go back and make our members to hold the back of the transmission up and the front of the transmission up. We've been really busy too. Yeah, and wow, you had to cut right near the, the foot box. It, it's right on the gas pedal there, yeah. So we've got some challenges ahead still. Ooh, probably a console, some seats. We may have to do some little modifications. But right now we're on the downstream of this. Yes. The next big project is actually going to be that steering. Steering, yep. So we got to get from our column to the steering, to clear the engine, to clear the headers, to clear all that stuff. And we got some really cool projects also coming up. We got the- uh, Well, that's why, that's why this has been taking a back seat, which is, like I said, this is the lowest priority car, and I will like it that way because you got some cool stuff going on. We got the 57 Brougham, we got the Crosley we're moving forward on, we got a 64 Chevelle over there. We even have a Woody that we're putting a push button uh, ignition in. Nice. So we make it a little modern on an old car. We got an old vet here above old the vet. Cadillac. Yeah. You got a Lincoln in process Lincoln right in here. Progress, 61 Lincoln. We got this, the GTO. I mean, you even got a pickup truck on the other side. Pickup truck. You had that, uh, what was blazer. it? The Blazer. That thing was yeah. sweet. Uh, <laughs> we just got done finishing up that 57 Bonneville. Yes. Best of show, best restoration. So we cleared up some trophies in the last <laughs> couple months, most of them in one day. So next time I come in, feel free to put the trophies on the roof to show off a little bit. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, we want to promote the shop as much as possible. Uh, but this is awesome to see how far this has come. I'm licking my chops. I can't wait to drive this thing. I know we still got a ways to go. Uh, but, you know, each step, every time I come in, it's getting a little bit further. And, and I mean, you guys are making it happen. Yeah, it's something that we haven't talked about is gas tank, because this was diesel before. Now we're right. going to go with a fuel cell of some oh, sort. Oh, I know. I know. So um. well, that may kind of be a tricky <laughs> issue yes, also. I agree. Here. I agree. Uh, as long as we can just keep that third row of seating in there, I'll be a happy man. Um, but we'll have to find something. I'm sure, you know, even if we find one of these in a junkyard, we'll just take an old gas, gas fuel tank out or something. We'll figure it out. Or you'll figure it out because you're the smarter one here. I'll just help. I'll facilitate a little bit, but it's exciting to see that engine in there. That is. I can't wait to see the cover and all the wiring harness on there also. I hope it works. I hope, yeah, I <laughs> I hope the damn works thing also. works. Um, Get it all in and everything and all of a sudden we hear right. rod knocking. Yeah, <laughs> that could be, I mean, it's, it's <laughs> entirely possible. Um, but uh, so we're going to measure the steering. We've got a company interested in helping us with uh, cooling. We're going to measure the cooling. I'm mm -hmm. uh, just going to do some sort of card or cardboard cutout mm -hmm. mount. We'll send it off to them. Um, uh, Magnaflow wants to help us to, with the exhaust once we figure that out, which mm -hmm. is exciting because that'll make this car sound awesome. Um, and we're ready to roll. The rear suspension's done. Done. Right. Yeah, ready to go. Uh, wheels and tires are just waiting. Just That's waiting. last. Yeah. That'll be last. Uh, but we're moving along. The wombat is alive. In progress. It's, it's going. It's yeah. going there. I can't believe that trans is in there. Uh, oh man, you guys have to cut. <laughs> That's awesome. A lot. Uh, well, I guess next time we'll see what it might look like with the carpeting in place if it fits. Oh, we're going to be doing some more cutting. Yeah, we'll get to do some more cutting. All right, well, uh, I'm going to keep poking my head around and check out some more of the cool projects, and uh, we'll be in touch, sir. All right, thank you. Thank you.